What's going on today everyone? This is the Jewish Giraffe back again with another video. Today I've got a different kind of video from ones I normally do because I'm going to be doing kind of a meta discussion with this how good is this card kind of video. So in the past when I've done these, how good are this card, how good is this, these cards, etc. Um, I usually talk about why they're good and then why they're not good and then that's pretty much it. This one, I'm actually going to be showing you why it's good, why it's not good, what cards it counters, and what decks you can use it in that are very anti-meta right now. So the card, of course, I'm talking about is the one you can see right here is Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. It is a new drop from Bastion uh, Mizawa, I can't remember his last name. Uh, but you want to farm him so much because you want three of these. I just got my third and fourth one in the same uh, farm yesterday. Uh, I would recommend getting three as soon as possible because when a spell card is activated, discard one spell card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. And if you do that, your opponent cannot activate spell cards with that name for the rest of this duel. It, I don't need to tell you why this card is so good. It's a counter trap, which means it fits into a lot of uh, decks easily. People run a lot of spells. So pretty much the pro of, the, of this is that you discard one card and negate the activation. That's uh, like a big point. But on top of that, they can't use it for the rest of the duel. If you have this in your starting hand, if you start with Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell, you are going to counter so many decks in the meta right now. It is actually ridiculous. And the only con is you need to have a spell in your hand to discard. While that might set you a little bit behind, seeing as how we all run these turbo 20 card decks, I think it's well worth it for shutting down your opponent's entire strategies. So just just as an example, here's some very meta cards that this card shuts down right now. Toon Kingdom, shut down since there's only one. Soul Exchange, this is what you're going to be seeing in a lot of these Hazy Flame Sphinx decks and uh, Horus decks, shut down. Machine Angel Absolute Ritual and Machine Angel Ritual, both of them together. This is probably the most meta deck at the moment, being tier 0, according to uh, DK. This card, you play this, they uh, probably will run one and and the other, so they're probably going to have both, so you might have to run two. But this is still a great minus one for your opponent, because it, it could shut them down almost immediately, and you could go for a turn two, turn three, whatever uh, KO with this. Red Eyes Insight, it's shutting down Red Eyes decks pretty well. Once this happens, there's no way for them to put uh, more Red Eyes in the graveyard unless they've got uh, Tribute to the Doomed, and then they're going to have a much more difficult time trying to get out their uh, Red Eyes Spirit. Super Brush Headlong, this is a very good card right now. Um, it just shuts it down, your opponent can't use it at all for the rest of the duel. Mausoleum of the Emperor, I don't know if this deck's going to be running around seeing as how strong Dakini is at this moment, but I do think if people are still going to be running Mausoleum to the Emperor decks, this will shut it down immediately because those decks, they specifically rely on this and you can't use it anymore in that kind of duel. The only way that they're going to really be able to get around this is if uh, they're running, if this is the uh, Destiny Draw Yugi deck, they're only going to be able to get out their uh, Invader of Darkness if they have two Golden Apples out or something else set, which really is not likely. Um, Ojama Delta Hurricane. If we're going to have all these Ojamas around, this is going to stop all the Ojama Delta Hurricanes out there because you're, they're going to set this up once and then they're not really going to be able to do anything about it. Polymerization. There's a lot of fusion decks out there right now and with all these new additions from GX, I mean, it's going to shut all them down. Uh, Machine Angel Ritual, as I said, and I forgot to include Enemy Controller on here, but that was kind of an obvious one. Enemy Controller is always going to be good and this card definitely shuts that down. So that's why I would heavily recommend Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell. Um, there's one other card I'm not talking about yet, but I don't have it, and that is um, Ancient Rules. I believe that's the name of it. I just want to make sure that because I'm going to be super annoyed at myself if that's something. You know what? No, I'm not going to go check. Because um, I'm in the wrong world. So I'm just going to call it Ancient Rules for right now. It's that reward that Mokuba gives us. But I'm going to show you some decks that I've been working on. I haven't tested them, but these are some decks that I think are going to be really good uh, as really strong anti meta decks. And they're both red eye decks, just right off the bat. So here's one that's more focused on spells. So this deck is, uh, it's balance, it's five red eyes. You could run this a little bit differently if you, uh, well, here's what I'm thinking just for right now. I would say either keep it as is and then take out one of the Super Rush Headlongs and one of the cards of the Redstone and put in two of the Ancient Rules or whatever it is. So you can play that. Uh, and then play Red Eyes Dragon, so Red Eyes Black Dragon. Pretty much the ideal starting hand is you get any one of the Red Eyes, you start off with a Red Eyes Insight, and any other spell card, really, and then you have a Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell. You set the Curse, you're going first, you set Curse Seal, you play Red Eyes Insight, bring out your Spirit, um, 
you set that, maybe you'll have a tribute to the doomed or a cards of the red stone, something like that. Get another red eyes in the grave if you have it. But you want to keep a spell card in hand, no matter what, so you can activate Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell, because your opponent is definitely going to, depending on what kind of deck they're using, most meta decks are going to try and play a spell card in the first turn, because red eyes insight, Toon Kingdom. All these other cards that I've been talking about, Machine Angel Ritual, they're all trying to play these spell cards really fast so they can make it a really quick duel. And with this kind of deck, you're going to get over that. You could even run, if you don't want to, you can only run two spirits and you have a much better chance of drawing Curse Seal if a written spell. However, I think running three is what makes Red Eyes good and this is going to be able to take down other things. There's another card I forgot actually to put in there, Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. It deals with ice barriers completely because their ice uh, delta or whatever they're trying ice barrier triangle i don't remember the card i never run ice barriers but if those are still trying to be a thing this absolutely shuts that down there's one other deck i've been working on so that was a spell focus this one is a trap focus of a similar deck and similarly with this one you don't have to run two tribute to the doomed i would run two ancient rules probably um but in this one you're a little less focused on curse seal of the forbidden spell you can also take out one of these ultimate providences and put in another curse seal of the forbidden spell the problem with this one is, if you draw your Red Eyes Insight to Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell and your uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, you're going to have a hard time because you're going to be putting yourself at a minus one with your Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell if you decide to keep that spell card in hand. So I think having a more spell focused deck is going to be just a little bit better for that. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think. If you have any other anti-meta decks that you think are going to work out with Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell, let me know. I would also, I've seen people uh, teching in some of these things on their own Machine Angel Ritual decks. Watch out for that, because that deck is definitely going to be uh, really explosive in this meta. I know a lot of people have already hit King of Games with it, and it's only been one day since uh, King or since the ladder reset. So, that's all I gotta say on that. I hope you all enjoy it. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you think I'm an idiot for thinking this card is good. Whatever. But I honestly think that this card is going to change this meta. It is going to define the meta. If enough people are using it, it's going to shut down Dakini. Yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is the Jewish Giraffe, signing off.